Hey, how you doing? I'm Jerry Johnson. I'm the top producing SBA lender and I'm the host of Before You Buy or Sell a Business podcast. And today I'm in Dallas, Texas, and we're at an SMB meetup that's hosted by Rand Larson. And we're going to be talking to some searchers and other people in the industry that have either bought or already sold a business and find out what's going on in the market. All right, Shane, so you already bought a business. Yep. Are you looking to buy another one at all or you're just looking to kind of grow what you've got right now? Uh, right now, focus on growing what I've got, but I'm always keeping my eyes open. Okay, cool. So I just want to ask you a couple of quick questions. So first one is, if you're evaluating a deal, how much time should you spend on it before you decide if you want to move forward or not? I think that really is a function of how many reps do you have under your belt. I think that the best piece of advice I can give is get as many reps early in the process as you can, because then you can quickly decide whether you want to move forward. And that's the goal is get to the point where you can quickly evaluate a business off the sim, decide whether it's worth pursuing and moving forward with. And then when you get to that point where you can quickly make that decision, then you want to dive in deep and really spend a good amount of time getting to know the sellers, the brokers, answering the tough questions. So I don't know that there's a specific time period, but if you build up enough reps early in the process, you can get to the point where you can quickly make that decision. That makes sense. So when you're starting out, you may need to spend more time before you kind of really understand what you're looking for. 100%. And I would advise any new searcher to, to look at any and all businesses just to get the deal reps under their belt. Uh, look at 100 businesses before you're actually serious about buying a business that just to sense. get the reps. Yeah, makes sense. So, OK, another completely off topic question. Does college pedigree matter? I believe no. Um, and I don't believe you have to have an MBA to be successful. I didn't have an MBA in doing this. I was a mid career searcher. Um, I think deal making experience based on your pedigree in colleges and your post pedigree, your post college pedigree can really help in the search phase. But there's no substitute for operating experience and managerial experience. And so I think searchers that are coming into this from a military background or from a previous management background actually have a leg up when it comes to operating the business that they acquire. They might not have as much experience in the deal making, sourcing, that kind of thing where an MBA candidate and pedigree might matter. That makes sense. So, all right. So we appreciate your time, but I'm going to do a couple of really quick rapid fire questions. So I'll ask you basically one or the other and you'll pick one. So first one, I'll go with broker or no broker? Broker. All right. LOI or APA to start? LOI, 100%. All right. Flip or hold? I believe in holding. Okay. All right. Kobe or Jordan? Jordan, 100%. That's easy. <laughs> All right. I really appreciate your time, man. Thank you. All right. If you're currently looking to buy or sell a business or maybe you just want to learn some more about the topic, check out my YouTube channel at Before You Buy or Sell a Business.